Bacteria are able to move around within environments. However, some are not able to move around. Since there is a difference between the two, we use this idea of motility as a way to be able to classify bacteria. Let's take a look about how we classify them and the types of motility. Motility. What is motility? Motility is another word for bacterial movement. Bacteria can either be modal or non-modal. Modal bacteria are able to propel through mediums like water using flagella or cilia in a motor-like fashion. Non-modal bacteria, however, are unable to move and drift through mediums. Modal bacteria. Flagella. A flagella is a whip-like protein that extends from the end of a bacteria. It is solidly rooted in the membrane and is turned like a crank. Flagella come in all shapes and sizes, as well as in different numbers, with some bacteria having one, two, or many. This can be seen through electron microscopy of certain bacteria and how they propel through the water. Acts like a whip-like propeller. Example, desulfovibrio cholerae. If we were to examine cholera's membrane-bound flagella, we would see that it's a set of proteins that are enshrined within the cell membrane. From there, the membranes are built outward into a whip-like fashion, allowing the bacteria to be able to glide effortlessly through water. Cilia. Cilia are microproteins that look like hairs. Push bacteria forward. Example, Salmonella. Salmonella is an interesting bacteria in the sense that it has flagella and cilia. However, the cilia are too small to be seen using electron microscopy and instead being able to determine used using protein analysis. Non-modal bacteria. Bacteria that are non-modal usually throw through a medium like water. Non-modal bacteria are ones that float through mediums and unable to move. They kind of glide along and where they end up is pure luck. Example, Streptococcus pyogenes. Streptococcus pyogenes causes strep throat as well as necrotizing fasciitis. Ends up in throat accidentally through coughs and saliva. Strep pyogenes, which lives in people's throats, can be spread through medium water droplets through coughing. Then it will colonize other throat tissues and begin to cause strep throat, a nasty disease that can learn, lead to long-term health defects. What is a pilus? A pilus is a modified flagella in bacteria. A pilus looks like a flagella, however it is used to transport uh, specific DNA between microbial cells. Transfers luxury genes between bacteria. Example, antibiotic resistance. The next part of the video is rated R as it contains strong sexual content, perhaps violence, and some language. As you can see from this diagram here, here are some bacteria with plasmids present within the cell. Using the sex pillus, one bacteria is able to reach out and touch another bacteria and exchange chromosomal DNA. The bacteria now has a trait like antibiotic resistance or poison, and it also has the ability to create a sex pillus and give it to another bacteria.